Welcome, in front of me is an Honor Magic V3 and today I'll show you how you can go through the setup process of this phone. So when you put it up the very first time, you should be presented with the screen that you can see for me and all you want to do is select your desired language from the list and then choose get started. Next, find your region, which uh, honestly doesn't really matter as far as I can tell, so I'm gonna select next. Here we have some terms of use, so you can tap on the details option right here and here to read exactly what you are agreeing to. Uh, but if you're like major majority of us, you're probably just gonna select that I have carefully read and agreed to them and then go to the next page. Next we have insert SIM card page. This is completely optional, you don't need to do that. The reason it shows up here is because uh, inserting a SIM card is one of the ways you can connect to uh, internet. The other one would be through Wi-Fi. And you also have the option to add an eSIM in here by scanning the QR code. Now I'm not going to be adding anything, so I'm going to select skip. And I'm also going to be skipping the network connection to Wi-Fi, which will mean that Google login page will not show up for me, date and time won't be set automatically, hence it shows up with this page right over here. Uh, and I won't have access to restore the uh, apps and data from Google backup. Talking about Google, we also have Google services right here, like location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. We can toggle those off, but let's be honest, this is Google, so they're probably still going to be gathering it in the background, and we just don't know it. Next, we have data and privacy, which is uh, a comical statement right here, coming from a brand that is basically uh, named Huawei, uh, or sub-brand of it, and partner with uh, running on Google, which again, no privacy existing there. So yeah, I'm just gonna select next. I, it's not even worth going into details to see what kind of bogus they're trying to uh, to shovel, shovel in our direction. Uh, and on the next page, we have device protection. Now we have several ways of protecting our device, and that would be uh, fingerprint, face recognition, and pin pattern or password. Now, if you're planning to use anything like fingerprint or face recognition, you will be forced to select also a pin pattern or password. And the reason for that is because if something would happen to your biometrics, meaning your finger or your face, you would lose access to the device. Hence, that leaves you with the pin pattern or password, which obviously if your finger or face isn't readable, the, the, the pattern, for instance, always will be. Now, I'll be skipping this and not protecting my device at all. Actually, let me take that back. I'm gonna select the pattern. I'll need it for future video. Okay, so there we go, it's now set. And I'm gonna skip the rest. Next, we have some enhanced services. Magic OS provides a range of enhanced services. You can read what this is and enable or disable it. I personally never bothered going through this. I just usually say no thanks, as most of those are just going to be data gathering crap. Um, talking of which, location services. Later, keep your software up to date. I, You can do this if you want to by selecting enable and continue. And you might think this is the only option you have, but you also have update manually option. Uh, and this will mean that whenever there is a, for instance, security patch or Android update, you will need to manually go into the settings, uh, see if there is one, and then just agree to update it. This would do it for you. Next we have system and navigation. And we have two options. We have the gestures and a three key uh, button nav. You can see right here. I'm going to stick with the gestures. And if you have never used gestures, it also gives you this button right here to, uh, to get the gesture tutorial. I already know how they work, so I'm just going to go to the next page. And this gives us an important uh, information about the foldable display. As it is made out of plastic, there's a bunch of problems with it. So we have avoid removing the inner screen protector film uh, yourself. It probably will start peeling off on its own after like half a year, if it's similar to Samsung. And I don't know if, uh, if this is the case right here. See the inner screen protector came with a pre-installed protection firm. Uh, Attempting to remove it or replace it uh, independently may damage uh, the screen and avoid the warranty. That is a very important option. Uh, Samsung does the same thing. The reason I'm pointing out to Samsung is because it's something that I used myself. So uh, when this starts to peel off, which it most probably will, 
Uh, if you wait too long, at least Samsung would avoid your warranty, uh, but it would need to be like really long, I think, to the point that the inner screen gets damaged. Um, and also if you peel it yourself, it avoids your warranty, though if you need a replacement or replace it, contact our service hotline or visit the Honor Customer Service Center for help. So it looks like it's very similar to what Samsung does, meaning they will replace the screen protector for you as long as the device is on warranty. At least that's what I presume right here. It's not deliberately stated, but at least that's what Samsung was doing. I avoid pressing sharp objects uh, against the inner screen. Again, it's made out of plastic, so it will get damaged. Uh, sharp objects would uh, also describe your fingernails, as these displays are very fragile. I avoid uh, pressing uh, the camera or folding area of the inner screen. Okay, I think it refers to this camera. So again, uh, basically the same thing as the first uh, first point. Just don't try to deliberately damage the fragile plastic display. Next, we have keep your phone away from devices uh, sensitive to magnets and avoid magnetic items. Uh, the device does magnetically close, so that's why uh, this might be important. Um, so here we have also the phone contains a uh, precise components uh, please avoid exposing the phone to liquid sand dust uh, that could damage obviously the device or more precisely the hinges you would not want to have any kind of dust in the hinges and the following area uh, are normally uh, bring, uh, see what we have right here okay so this refers to the to this crease uh, that obviously uh, you don't actually get to see at the very beginning when you set up your device for the first time as the device comes unfolded that's something that I noticed and the reason they come unfolded is because the cree the display right here is at that point almost well not creased yet the moment you start folding it uh, this will start to, uh, to show a subtle crease on this device it's nothing like super egregious but it is there and after folding it and using this device for some time you probably will hear like a weird crackling noise of the foldable display Let's see if there's anything curable right now there is just a tad bit it's nothing like super egregious uh, so yeah it refers to that that you might hear that and uh, obviously see the uh the crease that is obviously completely normal anyway let's go finish and this takes us straight to the home screen so with that being said hopefully you found this very helpful and if you did don't forget to smash like subscribe and thanks for watching